Hello everyone, we will continue the topic database operations and in the previous video, we started with update database operation. Now, if user is passing the correct order number, we passed, we showed the values of order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. Now user can change any of these values depends upon the requirement. User can change the values of multiple column. User can change the value of single column. It is totally, totally your wish. After changing, if user will click on to execute button, yes, it will update into database table. But most important thing, we can never, never change the order number because it is the primary key of the table. Now we all know if correct input is there and whenever user will click on to execute button, yes, firstly, add selection screen will validate. If the input is correct, control will go to which particular event, start of selection, and we will write the logic to update into database table. So we will go to start of selection and we will write the logic to update. We are following same to same practice for modify for selection screen modification changes. We are going for add selection screen output. For the validation part, we are using add selection screen. For yes, our selection logic and finally our logic part is the part of which particular event start of selection, our selection logic. Now we will go for update. So I will write update. Now I will write if third radio button is equal to capital X. For every if there is a and if. Now, what is the syntax for the update database operation? It is similar to insert and delete database operation. What is the keyword update? You can pass the name of database table. You can pass after that from your name of the work area, whatever the work area is there. If you are going for single record, this is the syntax. If we are going for multiple record updation through internal table, then we can write from table, internal table. We can simply pass the name of the internal table. But the most important thing is work area or internal table, whatever you are using to update database table, it must have same to same column as that of database table. Now in our current scenario, we are updating a single record. So we will go for first syntax, update database table from work area. So firstly, whatever is coming from the selection screen, we will pass it to work area. From the work area, we will pass to database table. So what is our work area? LWA data, order number. It is coming from which particular parameter? P underscore O N O. Then we have order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. We all know control D is the shortcut to duplicate a line. Order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. Now I will, what is the parameter for order date? P underscore O date, P underscore PM, total amount, and then we have currency. Now we will write the syntax for update. Update is the keyword. What is the name of database table? This is the name of database table, our order header table from. What is the name of work area? LWA. 
update. Now, if update is successful, psi sub R C will be equal to zero. We all know after successful operation, psi sub R C will be equal to zero. For every if there is a end if. Now we will simply simply give a message. Right. Suppose I will create a text symbol, text hyphen 003 now. I will double click and create. Now I will give a message. Okay, 003 is already available and that is record updated successfully. So we will simply, simply use that. I already created previously, so it is already available. You can create this and we will give which order number is updated. We'll check the syntax and activate. Now, what we will do, we will learn the full, full flow in that debugging mode from the starting yes. We will put a breakpoint in start of selection. I will put a breakpoint in add selection screen. And we will understand the full flow in the debugging. How from the starting update will work fine. Whenever we will run, we all know firstly which event will call at selection screen output event will call because this event calls every time before displaying the selection screen or input screen. As of now, our fourth radio button is capital X. So P underscore R2 is space, P underscore R3 is space. So none of the logic will execute. Now we have the selection screen or input screen. I'm giving a wrong order number and I will go for update. We all know function code is assigned. So which event will call first add selection screen because this event call every time whenever we are performing the action on to selection screen or input screen. Now you can see add selection screen event called yes and which radio button is capital xp underscore r3 so if condition is true it will check into database table do we have order number 15 no order number 15 is not in the database table so size sub rc is 4 when size sub rc is other than 0 we are simply simply getting the message. Now we will go for right order number. Suppose I will go for 10. I'm pressing enter. We all know yes, we perform action. So which event call at selection screen. So now our input is correct. Correct. So system will go to which part? Else part. Else part. Now system went to else part. So based upon that order number, it fetched the data of order date, payment mode, total amount and currency and data will come into this work area. What is the name of work area? LWA underscore display. You can see as of now, there is nothing in the work area. Once this query will execute, now you can see Yes, we have this order date, payment mode, total amount currency for that particular order number. Now, after that, which event will call add selection screen output? Because this event call every time before displaying the selection screen or input screen. Now, you see we are on add selection screen output event. We have order date, payment mode, total amount and currency. We are passing to parameters and this if condition is true. So we passed to selection screen parameters. You can see 
now we have the values this is our order date payment mode total amount and currency now we have the values now user can change the values suppose we are changing the payment mode to c suppose i am changing the currency to usd suppose i am changing two things you can change date also suppose i am changing the date i will put today's date suppose Today is 7th July. Suppose I will go for 7th July. Now, whenever I will go to execute button, yes, we are performing the action. So, firstly, add selection screen event will call. Add selection screen event called. Our input is correct. Our input is correct. Now, control will go to which particular event now? Start of selection. Whenever control went to start of selection, yes, third radio button is capital X. Whatever we passed from the screen, we are simply, simply passing to which work area? LWA data. See, you can see, we change the currency USD, we pass the state, we change the payment mode. Now, I am on 81 number line. Before that, I will just go, go. I will just show you the table. Just see as of now for order number 10, payment mode is N, total amount is 500, currency is INR, and this is the date. Now I will execute update. You can see size of RC0, it means update is successful. Now, this is the message. Now, I will refresh and show you the output. Now, I will refresh. And you can see date changed, payment mode changed, and currency changed to what? USD. So, this is full demo of the update database operation. So, what is the summary of the video? In this video, we have written the logic to update as a part of start of selection event. And yes, after that, we run the full flow in the debugging mode and everything is working fine. In the next video, we will start with last database operation that is modified. So that's it in this video. Thank you.